Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly love reading for August 2021. Before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. For those of you who've liked, shared and commented, thank you all so much. For those of you who have been booking private readings with me, thank you for choosing me to be part of your story and part of your journey. So Capricorn, I have already pressure for the decks. And so we will start, okay? Chart and universe, please tell us what's going to be the main energy for Capricorn. Okay. The emperor has come up, so we will accept the emperor, okay? Okay, so Tarot and universe, please tell us what's going to be the situation for Capricorn. Coupled or single, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of August. Okay. Right. I won't shuffle anymore. <laughs> Foundation. Reflection. Action to be taken. Moving forward. Okay, at the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. So, the foundation is death. Action to be taken, Six of Pentacles. Reflection is Six of Pentacles. Action to be taken, Knight of Cups. Moving forward, Nine of Wands. So, Capricorn, it looks to me here that um, there is a change coming in your relationship, okay? And this change is a positive change. I feel that either you or your person, whether you are coupled or single, is thinking of being, um, being able, okay? Whether they are... They, they want a change or you want this change and you want this change to be uh, a change that will be um, like, you know, forever. You want to be stuck to them and they want to be stuck to you. They want you in their life like, yes, they do. And you want them to be in your life like, yes, you do. Okay. But this Hierophant here, there is a possible or potential that if you even you are new, if sorry, if you are single and this new person comes into your life, it's a possibility that this is the person you are going to be married to. Okay? And whoever comes in for you if you are single, they have the intention of being married, okay, or settling down with you. This is where this relationship can lead to. And also, if you are already in a relationship, I feel here that. Your person certainly wants to settle down. They want a, a change, a change that will move in the right direction, okay, to, to benefit the two of you in the future. And as we see here, your foundation is death. And death here is telling you and I that transformation is necessary. You want the change, okay? You want the change. And whether you are coupled or single, this is a change that you, you know, you have to face. For some of you, you want to change. And for some of you, you are not ready for the change. That's how I feel here. But it is your foundation and you are willing. Not that you really want it, but I feel you are willing to make the change um, that you need to go through for your love life to be the way you want it to be. Okay. Your main energy here is the emperor. Okay, here, you know, I'm more drawn to the number four. Okay, I'm more drawn to the number four. And I see it as this change that you want. You want it for stability. And for some of you, it could also be purely that um, this change is has come um, to you. Those of you who are already in established relationship. This change has come to you because maybe there's been a lot of um, sexual activities going on that has, you know, bonded the two of you together. 
um, in a more stronger way. You feel like you are more um, compactable than you thought and you want this change, but you want this change to be like, you want it to be stuck. You know, you don't, you don't, you know, some of you are finding it difficult to change. Like I said, you're going to find it difficult, but you are willing to make the change in order to have the stability you are looking for with the emperor card. Okay. So yes, for some of you, you are going to have the energy, the drive, whether it's sexual, whether it's emotional, whether it's physical energy, you are going to do whatever it takes to physically make the changes that you need to make. For those of you already in a relationship and for those who are single, whatever you feel you need to do to let your person find you attractive, I feel you're going to do a cup of calm. You are, you are going to give it your all, your physical energy, okay? Like you are going to. It doesn't matter where you have to travel to, you will go. Whatever you have to do, you will do it. I feel it's more to do your physical energy rather than it being sexual, okay? But like I said, for some of you, it could be that those of you who are already in a relationship, you know, you feel like, yes, you know, you've got your connection is bond. Uh, your bond is um, stronger and your connection is stronger. And so you feel, you know, you are ready to take your relationship to the next level. OK. And here your reflection card is the six of pentacles. Perhaps some of you are um, thinking of um how you would want your relationship to be okay you want it to be balanced you want it to be equal you are looking for equality and yes i feel here it is more to do with equality okay it doesn't matter what the status quo is you want to make sure that this relationship is balanced okay it could also be that for those of you who are um, single, whoever is coming in for you, you know, you'll be looking at all these things and wanting to have a stable or uh, a balanced relationship where, you know, there isn't anyone being, because I'm more drawn to the scales. Okay. That is where my focus is. So I feel it's more important to, um, you know, whether you are male or female, you want the relationship that you have with your new person to be more balanced and i feel this is this is good and whoever is coming in for you if you are uh both uh new i feel what you'll be doing is looking for practical ways to express your love um whether it's gifts whether whatever it is you want things to be done the right way so the action you need to take is the knight of cups so capricorn i don't see anything here being um an issue because here you know you've got your cups and it means that if you are single whoever is coming in for you is definitely bewitched you know they're mesmerized by you they feel like you can't do any wrong okay and they, they are also coming to bewitch you <laughs> they are coming in for you with a lot of passion a lot of emotion and they want to let you know that they are definitely in for you and for those of you who are already coupled I feel this transformation that is coming in for you is going to change things for the better. Okay. It's going to change things for the better for both of you. And it's going to be wonderful. So your moving forward card Capricorn is the nine of wands. So what could this be? Well, I feel you are going to be more defensive in terms of what you want. And for some of you, you might be um, resisting, okay? You might be resisting um, some changes. Or it could be that some people may be in your case, whether you are coupled or single. Some people may be in your case. And for some of you, you will feel the need to defend 
your your relationship you feel the need to defend your person so that you can get the change you are looking for okay because let's not forget that you've got two cards predicting and talking about changes which is the uh, hierophant and also the death card okay and so that stability that you are looking for i feel you do everything you can to make sure you you achieve it and so with this um nine of wands here i feel you will be doing everything to defend to hold your ground to make sure that any you know any third person who comes into the equation you're going to tell them to you know to stand back because you know this is your life this is your business and you don't want them in it i feel that is what it's going to be and so i feel that yes um this has been insightful for you i will leave the reading here i will see you next month or you will see me next month